Hello everyone, uh, my name is Carly Hamilton from Create Miss and today I am got a haul for you. I have um, purchased some Coletto pens. Um, these pens have come like highly, highly recommended um, by a lot of people in some of the communities I follow online. Um, it seems to be a cheapish pen. Um, with interchangeable inks that you can choose the colors yourself and it also is supposedly to, uh, like really nice to write with so I decided to go ahead and purchase two um, I found a shop actually that's Australian um, and I'll put a link down below for the shop um, highly recommend it um, she did actually forget to send one of my inks. I ordered two blues, um, but she was deeply apolog apologetic when, when I emailed her and um, she sent it off today. So it should be arriving very soon. Um, so yeah, I do recommend that shop even though they, they made a mistake. They've had good customer service and everything. So I, I recommend them. Um, if you're in Australia, um, go check out the shop. I found that it was cheaper than what was available on eBay at the time. Um, so that's why I went for that. Um, and it's good to support local people rather than um, people overseas. So yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you the pen and give you a bit of review as well. Um, so this is the Coletto. It's the High Tech C Coletto, um, the four color one. So it's got four chambers. And it is super easy to load up your pen with your colors. I've started loading up this one. I'm going to change them around. I got a, I just got, you know, a blue one and also bought a pink one. So my initial um, impression of these pens is they're very nice. Uh, even though I didn't get any kind of like special edition one, you can get like really cool barrels and things like that. Um, this one still has like a nice soft um, rubber grip. And I'm a huge fan of fat pens. Um, so I like pens that are fat. And this one is pretty, it's pretty fat. Uh, I've had fatter, but you know, they're pretty good. This one here is probably my favorite. Uh, like multi ink pen that I have at the moment. It is a Papermate Ink Joy. Um, I really love the Ink Joy like inks. Um, and this one has um, is really cheap. This one is like $2.75 um, and you can get it at your local like supermarket when you're doing your grocery shopping. Um, I love the quality of this ink. Um, it is just so smooth to write with. Again, it's got a nice like rubbery bit there for your hands and it is nice and fat so that's this is like really good and really cheap so that's what these pens have to live up to um, one major difference with um, this one is a one millimeter I believe and this one is a point four so these ones are going to be much um, much thinner I could have chosen 0 0.3 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 and I went for 0 0.4 I think next time I might go for 0.5, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's that's my initial impression of the pen. Um, it's really easy to like load it up. You just like flip, flick open this top bit. It just flicks open and then you stick in your colors. So let me just like load it up. So I've got the purple one out and all you do is um, you can see there that's your little bit that you press down and that's the little bit that goes inside the um, pen. So what you do is um, it's got like little springs inside if you can see and you just get your little oop, um, your ink cartridge and push it down into the into the spring and then it's in. So I've got my inks in and all you do is once they're in um, is you just close the top and there we go. I bought a range of colors. Um, I've loaded up this pen too um, and I'll read out the names of the colors that I got. I am really really rusty with my Japanese but I can read the color names. So um, this one here says blue black. 
Um, that is that one there, the blue black. Then this one here is aqua blue. And aqua blue, I've got that one there. So it's like a bit more of a translucent like nib thing, whatever you call that. This one's just blue. And then I've got blue in here. I've got a second blue one coming, which I'm going to stick in this empty hole here. Um, this one is cherry pink. So cherry pink, I think, was that one. Uh, this one is, oh, this one's just pink. Um, so I think maybe that one was, no, that one there is pink, I think. I hope that one's pink. One, one of those is pink, one's cherry pink. Yeah, I think that one's cherry pink. This purple one is violet. So they've got the violet in this pen. And then this one is apple, apple green. So it's that one there. So that's those colors. And let's test them out. Let me get my little trusty book. This is my, um, my current like catch all planner, um, book. And I have done videos before about these kinds of books on my channel. So I'll put a link to that below. Um, so I might just use this next page here to test out all the colors. Um, so I have got them, um, 0.4. Um, some of them I've already used, some I haven't. This one is the, what is it? Black blue. Uh, it's blue black. This one's blue black. Uh, so 0.4. Blue black. 0.4. So these are the Coletta pens. Um, next I have here the aqua blue. That one is, um, they're all 0 0.4. The aqua blue. Um, I don't think I can zoom in much more. Blue, black, aqua blue. Then I've got, I'll do the last blue here, which is just blue. So that's the blue. Might just hold them up like this. Oh, oh. So that one there's the blue. Then I'll go this one, which is the cherry pink. And I think this one's cherry pink. I might have gotten the cherry pink and just the pink mixed up. No, that one there's cherry pink. When I am watching back this video, I will um, just double check that I do have them correct. So that's the cherry pink, then this one's the pink. Cherry pink and the pink. Then we'll go for the violet. The violet. Whoop. The um the colours aren't exactly right on my screen for what I'm seeing. But the colours themselves are very very vi vi hang on. I have a baby that's just moving around a bit. I had trouble getting him to sleep this afternoon, so Fingers crossed he stays asleep. This is apple green. He needs a nap. Apple green. So yeah, the colors are a bit washed out, I think, on the screen. They are really intense um, and really nice in the book themselves. Um, so they're the colors that I have gotten. 
I have done a little bit of writing with my um, with my blues. Um, I'll just show you really quickly because this is my private journal. But um, there's some colors there. Um, so I've just tried the different colors. And as you can see, I've written quite a few pages and the autofocus is going nuts. Um, but yeah, it was really, they're really, really smooth to write with. Um, occasionally, like with the aqua blue, I feel like it got a bit stuck. It didn't like produce liquid there nicely for like the A. Um, it, that, that does, does happen occasionally, which is kind of a pet peeve for me, but it hasn't really happened consistently or a lot. It's only just here and there a little bit. Um, so not enough to annoy me yet. Um, I am really happy with these pens. Um, my next test is to see how long the ink lasts in them because I do do a lot of writing and when it comes to like a $2.75 pen um, you don't really mind so much if it runs out quickly but when it comes to a bit more expensive pens you want them to last. This one, what I paid for them these is Australian dollars and I, the Australian dollar is really crappy at the moment. I think, I can't remember how much the pens were themselves. Not much. And then each ink for me was $2. Um, I can't remember how much the barrel was at all. But it wasn't too, it wasn't like too expensive. Um, but at the same time it's a bit more expensive than this. So, um... Yeah, so my test next is to yeah see how long these inks last because I do a lot of writing. Um, so yeah, if you've seen any of my like planner videos, you know that I've got a lot of writing that I do. Overall, my first impression of the Coletto pens are highly favorable. They seem really nice to, to write with, um, really intense color, for the most part they are smooth even though they are really thin um so yeah i i do i do for the for the um initial impression i do recommend them i like that they come in a range of colors um and i really like the blue the range of blues as well it keeps things a bit interesting for my writing okay i thought i'd do a coletto pen update um my extra little thingamajiggy has arrived and I actually also got a little um, little sticker thing as a sorry for forgetting it. So that is really sweet. I didn't know that I was going to get that. Um, so yeah, great service, customer service. And so I still recommend that store. Um, so I've got the link to it down below. Do check out that store, if, especially if you're in Australia. Um, so a quick update with my pens. Um, I have been using these pens for uh, two weeks now. I can't remember. No, it'd be one week. <laughs> um, so I've been using these pens for one week now. I don't know if you can see. If I go around, you can see that the blue ink. I'm not going to. I don't think it's showing. But the blue ink has gone down quite a bit. Um, and I only did a couple of entries in my journal with um, the blue ink. And I decided it was going down way too quickly. Um, so these pens are definitely not pens for if you do a ton of writing. Um, so I'm not going to be using these pens in my written journal. Um, but they are so smooth and really pleasant to write with that they're definitely going to be written, uh, using, that I'm definitely going to use them in say, you know, my brain dump book or, um, just you know when I'm just jotting down notes or things like that not when I'm doing long extended pages and pages of writing which is what I do in my written journals the one criticism I do have with this pen is the um, the aqua blue color um, it really isn't flowing as nicely as the other ones at all it um, is just like skipping some ink and stuff I'm not sure if that's a characteristic of the aqua blue or if I've just got a dud cartridge um, but the rest are fine. Um, I mean, the rest are really good. The rest are really smooth. Um, so I am enjoying using these pens. I think for the future I'm going to, I've got lots of blue colors because I was intending to write lots with these. 
but I think in the future I'm inten I'll get lots more colours and I'll use them for like colour coding. Um, for my written journal I'm going to stick with the Paper Mate um, Inkjoy pens. Um, the sun is really bright and beautiful out there so everything's all washed out in my video. But yeah, this is the um, Paper Mate Inkjoy. Um, this is my favourite pen to write with in my written journal just because the ink does last a long long time. I hope this has helped you with your decision if you're thinking about buying the Coletto pens. Um, I do recommend them, just not for lots and lots of writing, um, for extended periods of time, just maybe more for things like jotting down notes, um, for planning, if you're doing like planning or things like that. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you love pens. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get more updates in the future and I'll see you next time. Bye!